In this video, I'll show you three ways to help you creating content using AI tools. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unicom Motor and with AI technology's rapid growth, it has reached a level where people can use it to create content with it. There are cases where you can completely make content with it without a single drop of creative input from your end. But in my opinion, the creator's creative and personal touch will always be necessary for outstanding content. But nonetheless, AI can speed up the process and maybe can even let you focus much more on the creative side of it. The number one way it can help you is by writing scripts and doing research. One thing that you can use AI is to help you do research for the script you're writing or have it write the entire script for you. The tool that you can use is ChatGPT, which is an AI language tool. It's basically a robot that you can talk to and ask for things. It's honestly mind-blowing and a little scary at the same time. What I'm gonna ask is to write me a script where two friends meet and one of them had betrayed the other one. And at the peak moment, I'm gonna want a musical song. So let's see. Now, the fact that it's doing it in proper movie script format is crazy. And as you can see, it didn't write me the song lyrics yet, so I'm gonna ask it to write that as well and place the whole story in a room. Bam! Done! Obviously, it can't be asked to write a song, I mean, a melody as well, but there is actually a tool in research called MusicLM, which is a text-to-music converter. If you search for it in Google, you'll find this page where they show you examples of AI making music based on prompts or even images. But back to ChatGPT. One extra thing I needed from the tool is a storyboard, which it obviously couldn't draw, but it gave me this shot list, which is just crazy, especially because it even fits the language of the story with lots of close-ups focusing on emotions. The number two way is generating images. Another awesome way of using AI is generating images based on what you want to see. It's very useful when you're making a video and you're in need of a specific image that otherwise would have to be designed. For example, I, I'm gonna say that I need a blonde girl who's ice skating on the Mars. It's a pretty rare image. There are different apps to use, both for desktop and phone. This one that I'm using is called Photoleap and it's for iOS. I can type a blonde girl ice skating on Mars and I can select a style which I want to be somewhat realistic. Let's see, pretty cool. And if I want, I can check out the other style as well and I can generate whatever I want. Let's try alien attack on New York. There it is. I mean, Marvel does it better obviously, but I think this is pretty decent as well for a friend for an iPhone application. Now, one of the most professional tools to use for this purpose is Stable Diffusion, which requires quite a bit of computing power that I don't have at the moment. But as you can see in these examples, you can generate mind-blowing images with it. It's a great way to create a thumbnail, b-roll or other images for your content. Number three, using AI tools for video editing. Now, the third way of using AI for content creation is using AI-powered tools to help you out with certain tasks. For example, within the Wondershare Uniconverter, you find the AI Lab, which has tools like AI Vocal Remover, AI Voice Changer, AI Background Remover, AI Portrait, and many other tools. These features of the Uniconverter can save you time while editing and creating videos, and they're really easy to use. The vocal remover, for example, is perfect if you can't find a karaoke version of a song, but you want to make a cover video. Or if you're into making remixes, it will also be a great help as it extracts the vocals from the song, so you end up with a separate instrumental and vocal track. And then there is the AI portrait and AI background remover tool, which can remove the background of a portrait video or image with one single click. If you're interested in knowing more about the AI lab part of the Uni Converter, download it and try it. To finish up the list, let me also tell you about two other softwares of the Uni Converter family. One of them is Any3D and the other one is Any Eraser. With Any3D, you can turn a 2D video into 3D and also create content for VR. 
and any eraser will help you create better looking images and videos by removing objects of the image that you don't need. Both softwares are super easy to use and can help you create better content. To sum up, AI almost seems to want to replace the human factor in creating basically whatever. But don't forget that at the end of the day, it's a software and it has no feelings or personality. As of now, that is. Um, but good content will always need a personal touch. So if you use AI, use it to help you and not to replace you. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and give this video a big thumbs up. Throw a comment down below and let me know what you think about creating content with AI. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video.